I am Dragon Zero, and today I'm here with the Toku Bros. Yes, and that being of us, I'm Master the Bushido, with my Toku Bro on the other side. Of that being Fiverman, <laughs> Joshuto. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Look, man, stop hating. Where's that from? <laughs> no, honestly, I don't even know where that's from. You've well, not seen. You have seen Juoja. We've been talking I've about Juoja, but see, oh, that thing. Anyway, I thought you were going. Holy shit! You oh. really don't know what. Pla- Seriously, sometimes you really are on a different. Anyway, planet. <laughs> thank you for inviting us, JC. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, lucky you indeed. Yeah, to deal with him. So you want to get uh, right into it? I'm well good. What are you talking Bullshit. about? Bullshit. Listen, yeah, you're always full of insults. Come on, right? We should just get this ball on the road. Hey, so what are you just trying? Take it. Off. What? Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Carry on, JC. Okay. So, guys, um, what made you um, what made you, what made this show become to be? Uh, yeah, it was him. Right. It started off. We mean because uh, we met through like a mutual friend. We've never actually met in person, but. Yeah, within a short amount of time, it's like, oh, yeah, because I am a massive Toku fan. No, really. And it's like, my friend was like, oh, I know another Toku fan. And it's like, oh, you should chat to him on Facebook. Yeah. So we started talking on Facebook. Yeah. And then within a short amount of time, we started Skyping. Yep. And then he buggered off to Australia. And then <laughs> while he was in Australia, I guess he got bored. So he was like, oh, you know, we, you know, because we would, like just generally chat for hours about Toku, mainly Super Sentai, and then when I got into Carmen Rider, we started talking about Carmen Rider as well. Then, he was like, "Oh, I think we should record this," and I'm like, mm, "Yeah, bleh, whatever." And then, well, I guess we actually did start recording it. We did. Yeah. I mean, it originally started that I was recording, yeah. but then where I don't know, I guess my recording stuff stopped working. I told him to get the recording stuff. Mm-hmm. And so now he records, and yeah, so it's literally we'd already been doing it for so many years without recording, yeah. And um, now we do it recorded, and even still, and even between recordings, we still have like the same banter, yeah. Off, off recording. Yeah, it's almost like a, when we do. It's, it's almost like we we have this sort of very love hate brotherly relationship with or without the camera. It doesn't really matter, really. <sighs> So, yeah, and w- w- would you say we've been doing this for, what, over two years, just under three, give or oh, take? Oh, hell no, no, a lot longer than that, I what, mean... Three years, though, you've I mean... Been, no, because even before you moved to Australia, we were talking. No, but talking, but, yeah. not, but not recording, though. I mean, recording, recording-wise, I been, think we started recording... So, we've been talking about it for over three half, years. and 15, and then, no, 2014, rather. Yeah, that's what we I started recording stuff at the end, you know, like second half of 2014. No, no, hang on. But and then we started our channel right at the beginning of 2015. But can I just clarify? So we've been recording for over three years. So talking about it over three years. Uh, no, record- no, again, about I don't know when did you move to Australia? Three years ago. Anyway, and so then that's about four years then. Okay. Anyway, and then we've been recording for about two years, and we've officially done our YouTube over a year. Mm. Something like that. Anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting, guys. Like, like I was ho- like earlier this summer, I was actually planning to do a podcast, but I'm not going to go into um, details about what happened. But anyway, um. What are you guys' favorite t- um, tokusatsu shows? Oh, my goodness. Don't Could get you repeat the question? What's your favorite toku show? Okay. Ooh, on me? No, no, as in, no, no. Was that your question? No, say the question again, JC. Um, what is your favorite um, tokusatsu show? Um, let me be more specific. That isn't Kamen Rider or Super Sentai. That isn't? <laughs> Ouch. Shit. I mean... I think no, that that's going to be more of a problem for you because you only watch the Toei Two. Oh, I mean, hang on a I watch no, I oh. watch yeah, because I'm the one you know. For anyone that watches the show, will know that I am the diverse one. Lol. No comment. I will say, I mean, <laughs> cough cough. Because for such Wardrobe. a long time, my my favorite was Garrow, 
But I've got to be honest, and anyone who's seen the show will know, Bimba! I feel that Garrow's fallen off. I'll feel Garrow's fallen off in the last three years easily. Whereas before it was like absolutely amazing. I thought you were going to say But I would Bimba. say like in recent years, I'd say recent years, uh, I mean, it's not a show per se, but there's a Toku, there is like a Toku thing. Uh, there's an indie Toku called Gun Calibre. And that's done uh, by a guy called Bueno, and that is you know. absolutely amazing. And then, but series-wise, uh, anyone will know, I've got a lot of love right now for Bima Satria Garuda, you which know. is an Indonesian taku. You know, you should mm-hmm. just be an absolute girl and saying that, and just literally get toe. And uh, Flavor Man, you should know this already, but uh, I've seen... Oh, season- you're going to say Ryu Kendo, aren't you? Yes. I'm actually uploading that show right now on TNN. Yeah. All right, but um, yeah, that's that's one that, and we will be in due course. We'll be doing a review on that because that is so unique in its own way, shape, or form. And the other one is Garo, but I have only seen seasons one and. Um, uh, Flavor Man, help me with this one. Which one was the one? I, I thought- think you said you saw season th- three. The one as with... in the one with Vol City, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, three. And I actually didn't mind it, I actually didn't mind uh, season three, but that's me, anyways. Because for one, it yeah, also had the actor playing Go Kai yeah, Silver, anyways. They really went because, like, season three, they really went so sort of, they took a real different turn with it, especially mm. with a whole new Garrow. Mm. Mm. But the sequel to season three was actually season five, and season five sucked mm. badly. Well, another thing that I loved about season three is because it had Gokai Silver in it, but hey, you know. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely season three. Yeah. Um, otherwise, um, just, well, yeah. But you, JC, if you have a preference. Um. Well, like, since I'm... Okay, non toy related, right? Or yeah. Well, I never really. Th- I've seen Ultraman, and my favorite show probably gotta be um, Ultraman Ginga S, or maybe oh, I've um. I've heard a lot of good things about that, but again, there was just so many before it, and you know yeah, I'd already really lost bad. interest. But I do plan to pick it up at some point. Right. Okay. Maybe we could do a review, maybe together. Who knows? Who knows? Watch this space, guys. Anyway, carry on. Okay, and how about Common Rider and Super Sentai? Okay. I think this is an interesting one because okay, you know, when Cut I think five. back, wait, Flavor Man, wh- hang on. When I think back to when we first started talking, like again, four years or so, I think it was like me, Super Sentai, and him, Common Rider. But I've got to be honest, the way that we talk on the show, I think it's actually switched. If I'm, you know, Agreed. I'd say I'm more Kamen Rider and he's more Super Sentai. Uh, I'm actually fair on both, but. But, oh, but, no, no, hang see. on. Uh, uh, hang on. But, no, JC was going to, what's it, join it? Uh, what's it, add on something? So, two sex flavor, man. Like the top five Super Sentai and Kamen Rider for you guys. Hang on. Is that top five Super Sentai on its own or combined? Um, on its own. Blind with what? No, so... Oh, right. right Flavor Man, top five Sentai, top five Riders. Yes. Right, so, so two different lists, yeah? Yeah. Right. Oh, Ooh, God. I, okay. I swear we've done this a we million times We have done this like a million us. times already. Right, uh, we've can done I lead... this like a million right, times Man, over can I... Flavor Man, can I lead this? Right, yeah, so I can think. You yeah, go. good luck with that. So, my top five riders, just to get this one out of the way. Uh, from fifth, I would say... Ooh, got to be careful now, because otherwise Flavor Man's going to curse me on this one. Um, one, two, three, four, three... All right. All right, I'll do it that way. I would say top would be Wizard for me, um, along with... Then below that, uh, Kiba, in any order, one or two, it could really change. Or actually, Kiba one, Wizard two, double three. Uh, 
decayed, then, um, and this one I'm literally throwing, uh, maybe Kabuto, maybe, mm -hmm. uh, just because of the sheer, uh, yeah, Kabuto actually, um, and then for me, the Sentais would be from one, because it's easy. You, how many, how many riders, I swear you only did four riders just now. Seriously, you're not listening. No, I'm not counting, that's what you mean. Fuck's yeah. sake. So you got uh, Kiba, Wizard, uh, Double, uh, then you've got uh, Decayed... Kabuto. Uh, oh, Kabuto, Decayed Kabuto, and then Kabuto. Yeah, right, Decayed right. then Kabuto or Fires, whichever, I don't mind. And then for the Sentais, I would say from the top, I'd say Gokaiju, um, Gekuranger, Bokenja, um, and then oh yeah no sorry yeah Abba Ranger and <laughs> Abba, 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 Abba Ranger <laughs> yeah and then I'd say as a last fuck I should have thrown this on number two Magi Ranger should be number two easily oh we only recently just recorded that and you were like oh it was my first one and then you put it there no it, it'll be number two fuck it put everything down and then it'll be number two it's good just cause. <laughs> wow organized as always i know right? right well unlike him i'm gonna do this in reverse order so from five to one good luck uh yeah shush uh right so carmen wide wise let's see um right he's still thinking you know what screw it i'm gonna do it one to five Oh, so organised are you? Ew. Right, sh hush your gums. <laughs> yeah. Right, so my top is definitely Carmen Rider Deno. I mean, that was my first rider, and I'm just like, you know what? It, yeah, it was my first rider, and, you know, it was just so, you know, it was just so vivid, and, you know, it's like, the you know, all the themes that were in Deno, you know, they carried them on to such a strong extent in all the subsequent riders. And even in Sentai, it can't, you can see the Deno influence in Sentai. And then ironically, before he started doing the switcheroo, I already had Carmen Rider Kibar at number two. Mm -hmm. And then, then I was, and it was three. quite, a, I mean, if anything, it's a joint second, but I did, you know, I got a lot of love for wizard. Yeah. So, like, Wizard would either be joint second or third. third you... yep. And then, like, the fourth, I was kind of like, Ugh, but I kind of went with Carmen Rider Gaim. Oh. I like Gaim. In oh. fact, I loved it. The only reason I mean, I'm staying is, now on this like, channel is because of, of you invited that me on this. And Seriously. Ryuki had a lot of similarities, but I'm just kind of like, there was, you know, I mean, apart from the really rubbish ending that I keep talking about. You know, Gaim had a good beginning and middle at least. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, but I could easily substitute Gaim with Ryuki as four. And then fifth, or I mean, that was kind of where I was getting a bit stuck. But, you know, I, I'm actually having love for Ghost as well at the moment. You know, I mean, it's not that sort of wow, but it's all right. So either Ghost or possibly something like Blade. Because I really liked Blade when I watched it. Mm. Now for Sentai, uh oh, here we I go. Say, uh, I know when your number one's going or your joint number. Oh one. No, no, I, no, 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 no. Let me guess. Let me guess. First, let me get. Let you me can guess. Your joint your first. No, let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. No, because, because no, because you're just gonna mock me. No, I'm right, not gonna mock you. Stop. You're gonna say, Jet oh. man. What am I gonna say? Jet the man. No. <laughs> oh fuck. You're what Jetman for my season, favorite seasons? Well, I got a lot of love. I mean, this is it. Because when I think of, because, you know, I'm working through 90s Sentai. At, well, I was working <laughs> through 90s Sentai, but then I started watching Carmen, you know, because I'm watching Carmen Rider Cougar right now. But I Cougar was working through, like, Jetman, Dew Ranger, Dire Ranger. I finished Kaka Ranger a couple months ago. I've got O Ranger ready to go, but I've just not, you know, I decided to watch Cougar and Agito instead. Uh, so, you know, excluding the 90s Sentai, everything from 2000 onward, 
my top five, I'm going to go with the joint first with Decca Ranger and Go Busters. And, oh my you know, so, and my second, I f- what did I go with? I had, I had, um, Ge- no, no, not Geki Ranger, the other one, Go Kaija. Yeah. And then, let's see, and then I had Shinkenja. Ooh, then I was thinking about Geki Ranger, and then the lo- the one at the bottom. Oh, there was one I had. There was one I had. Um, oh, shut up! No. Um, let me think. Let me think. What was it? What was it? it was... Go Azure. Which one? Go Azure. <laughs> no, no. no. Um, <laughs> I, just I would say time rate. You know, and again, it's a bit of a you know time ranger deserved to be a bit higher up, but there was just so much like you know because yeah, you, know, you either had like the dark things, okay, or, but then it went a bit bland. So I would still say that as fifth. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Like, Go Busters is probably one of my favorite seasons as well, because I like the special effects in it, as well as the story. <laughs> oh, you can shut up. Right. Because, yeah, I liked Go... I mean, I loved Go Busters actually more for the story. See, I couldn't find but the story. I do see what you're talking about, the CGI. I mean, you look at that episode one, you see how, like, enters in that dimension with Messiah, or Messiah, as we'd say. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I would say I was more about the story. I was loving the history about Hiramu. And, you know, and I thought, you know, I thought it was a bit weird that, you know, they kept basing like the original event around Christmas. Mm-hmm. But that just went with it perfectly. I mean, the ironic thing is, is you fast forward a few years from when Go Busters aired, Deadpool, which is like in cinemas now, LOL. They also base that around Christmas time as well. There's just something about it. I mean, Die Hard did it like, what, 20 plus years ago. There's just something mm-hmm. about when they, you know, it's not, it's not a Christmas thing, but when they base something around that Christmas time, it's just a bit insane. That's like saying, and I'm going to use that Christmas theme just for two moments. I find it interesting that when you say, like, almost. When you say Go Busters is like a Christmas themed series, Die Hard. Oh, not is Christmas it? themed. It was like the original event was based around Christmas time, and, and then when they did their Christmas episodes, it gave it like a bit of, you know, emphasis. What's more interesting is the fact that um, uh, Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and and, and this is another thing. Oh, we are not getting into this argument right now. There are people that believe it's a Christmas film. There are people that just believe it was a film around Christmas time. But well, it's that's not... like saying Frozen is uh, what well, was released right. as a Christmas Frozen movie, but is was based. Right, Frozen is obviously a film about snow. I've not and seen summer, Frozen, but I based... know Frozen was at you know time wise that was based in July. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, obviously, you know, release wise, it was released at Christmas. Mm-hmm. For Christmas. Anyway. Well, actually, or was Anyway. I don't think it was. Anyway. But... No, no, it's, it was released in Christmas. Anyway, my point. Right. Like anyway. It's based around July. Though. Anyway, JC, do you want to carry on before we start clawing each other's eyes out on this? Okay. Um, so, anyway, what's your top um, Kamen Rider and Super Sentai theme songs? Oh, we had this discussion not too long ago, didn't we? We actually did. Uh, I think I can only do like my top five combined on this one. Yeah, same. Yeah, I would say... Fuck, I can barely remember many of them now. When you say theme songs, do you yeah, mean opening. openings, endings, or both? I'm both. Oh, shit. Well, well, I'm gonna... I know what my number one is right away, but let me guess. On. Let me guess, Ryuki? Nope. Don't know. Actually, that'd be near the top, but I won't say top. Uh, me, I'd say Ryuki at top. Um, then dub. Uh, sorry, then wizard. Then the ending to Magi Ranger. Um, Magi, Magi Mina. Yeah, that one. Um, <laughs> uh, then I'd have 
something out of Psychic Lovers, actually. Maybe Duck Rangers opening, because that is actually good. Oh, I have done that on piano. Me. Yeah, and then I'd have, uh, as a last one, I would do... Who else is a good opening? This one's a toughie. Uh, no. Ginga no. Man? No. Da 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 Ganga Man. No, just da, no. Da, 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 Ganga Man. No. Um, <laughs> actually, I'm gonna go out on a limb on this one, and just because of the sheer I like uniqueness of it, I'm gonna say Gal Ranger or even Abba Ranger. Go! Yeah, Gal you know Ranger. Yeah. It's just because it's so unique, or even Abba Ranger, because I love the openings for those. I'll, I'll stick uh, with those. The Get up! Yeah, that. Anyways. <laughs> um. Fla- okay. Flavor, man, good luck. Is it me now? Yeah, unfortunately. Right. Okay. Because I think I was. I think I just got to about four. Hold on. No, oh, who cares? Four, 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 right, hold on. Uh, uh, right, hold on. right okay so uh, so my five and i'm doing this in reverse order good luck so like da, 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 da. number five is your he for me it's oh, a ditch, no. da, 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 da. the ending to the ninja. 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 ninja what's that right and then number four would have to be, uh, let's see, it would have to, oh crap, I've forgotten my number four. Um, what was my number four? What was my number four? Uh, no I would say I'll put it as both Go Buster opening themes. Buster, ready to go. And then number three is Life is Showtime, Glory to Danai. Yeah, that's the opening oh, to no. said. Yeah. And then number two is Shushu Kosanjo. Kosanjo. Oh, oh, the, uh, I, I really the don't like the series, but Hurricane just opening is amazing. It's a joke. And number like one, joke. number one is Abba 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 Ranger. Oh, no. yes. oh yeah. Um, that... What's your top ending themes for Sentai? I'm sorry, what? Top ending that... theme for Sentai. Wait. So just endings and just Sentai, basically. Yes. Oh, well, that's hard because. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one to just say my favorite ending theme is still Magic Rangers jingle. Really, that's about it. Really, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I mean, I guess by default it'd have to be the Abba Ranger ending, but again. The ironic thing is, is like the you know the recent turn that re- that Santai's had post Go Busters, where they've just made you know like they have to do like some corny dance. Yeah. You know, like I didn't quite feel it worked for Kyo Ryuja. No. I you know like Tokuja, they I'm not really sure what that was. There was and no then, for that. Yeah, you know, they were just running around really, and then you know I really like the Nin in the ending. But you look at Joja's ending. I'm just like they're clearly trying to do Copy. the same thing. Yeah. yeah, it just doesn't work. You know, it needs to be a bit more natural, really, in my opinion. So you know, Ninja was just amazing. You know, you could see the uh, the passion that Dice, you know, Iki Daisuke had for doing Sentai music. And you know who that you know I mean fair enough the song sounds all right but the dance is just like yuck. Mm. Anyway, so what's your favorite um, Common Rider theme? Like top five? Top five what? Common Rider, Rider themes. themes. Well, I thought we summed that. Oh, I guess okay. he's gone from combined to one to the other, so he's just asking for top fives and everything, lol. I mean, I would still say that Carmen Rider Wizards Life is Showtime yeah. is my all time favourite. Uh I mean oh, as well like but Ryuki, you know, don't forget Ryuki's a good from, you know, breaking the chain from I think the group was called Durillion or something. 
for Kamen Rider Kibba was really good. Sounds like a plan out I mean, of Star Trek. I still have Climax Jump playing you know, in my car. See, it's, as an opening, it, now that you mention it, that's actually a good opening. But what? The Climax si- Jump? Yeah, Climax it's Jump is... It's a- right, but, you know, I still have it on my phone. It still plays in my car. But, uh, you know... No, I'd, the thing is, is know, see, I love dry... Sorry. Not drive. Let me try that again. Surprise drive is fantastic. I'll throw that way on the top as well with wizard. Yeah, I mean, surprise drive's awesome. I mean, it's all right. It's not bad, but I just wouldn't rate it highly. No, no. But see, we had this discussion during our drive. We did have um, this discussion. I remember vividly. Yeah. Yeah. With the especially with the drive um, uh, episode that we did a review where every time <laughs> every t- I think we, that's where we did have that discussion. We had yeah. this discussion that. Um, and I emphasize that every time the opening is on for Drive, that I enjoyed it so much it that I always you felt it. One show, second, yeah, I'm talking. Anyway, I oh, shush. Well, when anyway, I'm talking. Anyway, anyway. Uh, as I was saying, so that after each of the opening, I always find it is like a nice little build up to the episode, though. So that's why I always like Surprise Drive, um, Life Surprise. is Showtime. Fuck you. Um, right. Ho- no, I wait. One, se- one second. One second. One <laughs> second. Uh, JC, I hope you're going to R-rate this, by the way, just so everyone's aware that this is so going to be R-rated. Um, yeah. That's, yeah. That, is that your attempt in knowing American culture? Yeah. Fuck you, man. Anyway. Fuck <laughs> you. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, anyway. So, um, other than that, there is uh, uh, Ryuki's opening as well. I didn't think too much of uh, Kiba's one, unfortunately. I loved um, <gasps> uh, Hardboard Extreme. I love that. I loved um, what's it? Dub- uh, doubles opening. That is fantastic. Double B S Super Yeah, yep, that thing. You're just taunting me now, aren't you, boy? Who me? Or yeah? Why? Because you know I've not seen Double you prick. Uh, like I have a choice. I'm just going by what I know. Fuck you. Fuck you. Right. Anyway, my anyway, anyway. So again, I totally rate, you know, Life is Showtime. I totally rate Breaking the Chain. No. Blade had two really good openings because, you know, Blade and I think uh Hibiki were two series that had like two different openings. Like they made a From change riders. midway. Yeah, yeah. yeah I Who? think you're right. What, from the yeah, riders? Blade yeah, Blade definitely did. Hibiki definitely did. But Hibiki's music was awful. Well, we know that. You know, Hibi- he don't even talk to me about Hibiki. I'll vomit. But I'll say, I'll say Blade had two really good openings. They didn't even need to change halfway, in my opinion. <coughs> but Steady on. I loved both of Blade's openings. Hmm. Uh, I mean, Ryuki was, you know, it was all right. It was nice. Da, 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 da. I mean, the really weird thing is, like, I'm watching Cougar right now, and it's, oh my goodness, it's kind of like, you know, it's really weird that this is what they went with to reboot the Kamen Rider franchise. Don't they go, like, somewhere in near to the end and go, Cougar! Kind of thing, don't it? Cougar! Yeah, that thing. (laughs) I mean, and then, as well, let me think. You know what? I can't even remember what Kabuto's theme sounded like. I don't even know um, anyway. So. Yeah, but I'm surprised you haven't even mentioned I liked, Ryuki. I mean, when it came to Gaim's Just Live More, I thought it was very original sounding. Like, I liked how original it was, and it wasn't bad. I and, you know, see, that was my ringtone for a year. You know, as just you as Life is Showtime was. I mean, but, ironically, I didn't have Surprise Drive as a ringtone, but I'm you listen to the current one, Ghosts, um, you I know, We it. Think Therefore We Are. I don't like I it. I think that's a really, yeah, I think that's a really good song as well. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just judging. No, because it's show. my current ringtone. It is my current ringtone. Uh, I'm my sim- by no, no, my sympathy to your phone, because seriously, it, I feel so sorry for your phone. Hey, I really like Mio. You know, I like think... I care. <sighs> Fucking right. Up. God, and we do a show together, and you say that. No, I'm saying, you know, I actually do like the ghost theme, and you know, it is my current ringtone for the year. LOL. Mm-hmm. 
And yeah, I like Ghost Spring Toad. Yeah, th- <laughs> Spring Toad. Hmm. Same here. I like Ghost Toad. I will say, I'll say, considering I'm not, and that, you know, considering Japanese isn't my mother tongue, it does have a lot of complex words. Like, the thing is, like, when Wizard was on air, I was actually able, I was actually able to sing along to it. When I was watching Ryuki, I was able to sing along to it. This one has a lot of long words in it. I'm just like, Ugh. but I do still like the song. All right. Mm. Um, go for okay. it. Okay. So, um, what do you guys want to see in upcoming in um Joe and Ghost? That's an, an interesting question. Woo. Well. I mean, this is it, because the way we do the show is, you know, we look ahead as to what, you know, what we know is going, what we're told is going to happen. But we've never been asked as to what we oh, would like, like to see. Occasionally That's... on the show, we do talk about, oh, what we think, you know, like we do like, we speculate a little. We speculate, but never what we'd like to see, though. So I like that question. I'm All right, so let's see. I'll go for Duoja first. Ladies I'll first. say... Well, this is it, because again, we know like to an extent what's going to be happening. Yeah. I reckon, like, say, in the second half of Duoja, they should, like, may- either bring in, like, some mythical animals that don't actually exist. What, in mind, Zubin don't exist, you know what I mean? Uh, I'd say, like, you know, so, like, centaurs and I don't know, unicorns. Yeah, that'd be quite funny. They could almost do <laughs> uh, like a mythical Megazord kind of thing. A mythical Megazord, that'd be funny. And how it'd be like a god like it was in Gal Ranger? What, the... Uh, almost like the uh, uh, Isis Megazord, isn't it called? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dolls. Anyway, I'd so, so that'd be... Again, that's just kind of like an idea which, you know, it would either be really good or really corny as hell. Bearing in mind, you know, we've had the previous three, yeah, you know, the previous three series have been insanely childish anyway. <laughs> so why not go with a unicorn mecha? Um, mm. And uh, let's see. Uh, I guess ranger wise, I that because one ranger. thing I read on the forum, yeah, and I guess this is this isn't my idea. I'm not going to take credit for it. But someone was like saying, oh, you know, because we know who, what the sixth ranger looks like suit wise. Mm. But I think it'd be funny if uh, the Sixth Ranger would be a talking... You know, like, obviously you've got the Zoo Men who are, like, you know, they have animal heads but human bodies. I reckon it'd be funny if they just made the Sixth Ranger like a talking animal. What, like a dog? Uh, what a do you real... mean, like a dog? Have what, you... a, real, a real-life dog that talks? No, not necessarily <laughs> a dog, like any animal. Like... Any animal that's like, um, you know, I mean, obviously, if you're going to use dogs, example, it'd be like, hello, I'm Rover. So, forgive me, I'm going to intervene whilst uh, Flavor Man tries to recompose himself uh, maturely. And yeah. uh, what I'll say is, in regards to Georgia, I will mention uh, so far after two episodes that I've seen of this recording, uh, I am interested in the story. Though, pray, I pray, and this is uh, this will tie in with um, ghosts. That what I would love to see is a good story that I have not seen a good story in Sentai since. Magi Ranger and Geki Ranger, to be honest. I mean, oh, you're such a granddad. I mean, I yeah, will still like, say that. I will say that Go Kaija had a good story. I'll say that like Go Masters had an amazing story. Oh, and Go Kaija, yeah, sorry, I can't forget that. But anyway, my <laughs> yeah. point is, is I would love to see another good story. Like, seriously. To be uh, fair, every year, I, you know, I think like any standard Toku fan, I expect a good story every year. It well, just happens that... Well, it's coming to no, be like... A, it's almost like... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Just... It's almost coming to be like a wishful thinking, though. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Like, well, let's see. Let... Do I have to go back the past four years? But that's what I was about to do. Because, like, Ninja was an okay story. There it was, was highs and lows. 
But executed no, I very disagree. Cheap. I disagree. It wasn't monotonous. It was highs and lows. It was like they'd have really good. Yeah, you know, and I said this in our Ninja review. Inconsistent. Yeah, you know, there were really. Yeah, you know, there's some really good highs, and then there were some really rubbish fillers. Agreed. But then, like Tokuja, it wasn't so much as story progression. It was my opinion was the Ranger story was a bit shit, but the villain story was really good. Agreed. And then what yeah. was before that? Kyoryuja. I, I mean, love that, actually. The characters really? were fantastic. Yeah. No, hang no, on. The, the characters, characters were good. good. The characters were good, but the story was just absolute pure all. Yeah. Well, there wasn't was, really one. I think um, Kyoryuja was kind of written as a joke, if you know what I mean. No, because... I oh. will tell you. I mean, again, I know I've spoken about this on our show. The thing with Kyoryuja is that it was written in contrast to Go Busters. Because Go Which Busters, you know, they did, you know, they won, you know, because where you had Go Kaija paying tribute to all previous 35, yeah. they really wanted to take Sentai in a new direction. Yeah. I really liked it, but apparently it just, well, this is the thing, though. Yeah, you know, they kind of like, they kind of, because where you had like the viewing figures going, you know, the, fig- the viewing figures have been going down anyway. But then, like, merchandising figures go up and down every year. But where you had, like, a massive thing with Go Kaija's merchandising, Go Busters, neither the merchandising nor the viewing did that well. So they felt, you know, they felt it was to do with Go Busters. So they did it in stark contrast. And at the end of the day, the viewing figures were still lower than Go Busters even. But their merchandising was a lot higher, mm. so that so the reason Go Kyoryuja was the way it was hang on was minute, to but... be in contrast to what Go Busters was. Well, here's the thing, Flavor Man. Hang on a minute. The thing is, is uh, tying that again with Ghost. I fear that what's it? The way it's going is like he already reset his life, so it's like. Um, well, oh, okay, we're counting down again from 90 days or whatever, 80 days or whatever. 99. Yeah. yeah, thanks. And then we've seen images, we've seen spoiler images and scans to the G-scan Ghost Driver for his... Uh, um, yeah, exactly. For Ghost his, Driver G. Hang on. For his... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Faith? The Grand Amashi. Or like the ultimate form. Uh, the, no, you're the, talking about the Grateful Damashi. I think. Yeah, the Grateful one. And uh, in short, A, it has already been com- uh, compared to a knockoff of Blade's King form, showing off all the 15 icons, whereas, well, King has 12 cards, whatever, in this in this suit or whatever. And, um, but... and the thing is, is, what's more, we know that there's going to be other forms anyway, and there was... I don't know whether this is a pinch of salt thing, but also an extreme form as well, which again is another uh, knockoff to Wizards. Um, no, sorry, Finity, I no, heard sorry, about sorry, that. sorry, sorry, let me try that again, because I fucked that up. Uh, infinite form, which is uh, a knockoff to Wizards, Wizards Infinity Form. Thank you. And but at I... the end of the day, you're saying about knockoff and stuff, but at the end of the day, in recent years, all you know, really both Toei, you know, the Toei 2 have been very merch heavy. Mm. And, you know, obviously as older fans, older fans are going to criticise the hell out of that aspect. But I mean... when it comes to the actual sales, it's been very hit and miss. Because again, Kyoryuja did really well. I'm not sure about Tokuja, but Nininja actually fell. Their merch yeah. sales were actually pretty bad. They were pretty. Wasn't dismal. it like a record low or something? If yes. I read that. Like yeah, I think sure. that's what I read. Yeah. No, but see, my point is though, like honestly, I couldn't give two shits about the if they you know knock off the forms from other riders, Sentai, whatever. Right, provided provided that a it's a reason there is a reason to it and if it ties in well with a story because at this moment i'm just seeing groundhog day over and over and over again with ghosts mm-hmm. i'm sorry because when we get to the um the the, the grateful damashi whatever the fuck it's called i don't care the i think the time's going to be reset again seriously i'm like mm. why 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 because 
this is just going to be fucking Groundhog Day. But where I, I where I already spoke about what I'd like to see in Joja, what I would like to see in Ghost is sort of more of Elaine Elaine's brother. Yeah. Because he made because you know like watching episode nineteen recently, hmm. uh, you see him talking to that mad scientist dude, hmm. and. Cool. Yeah, that's his name. And, you know, I'm just kind of like, all right, I want to see where that could go. I mean, Igor's neither here nor there. And, you know, he had that, because he had that Ripper guy, like, a couple of episodes prior. But I kind of thought it was a bit weird that he was kept on, I mean, especially where, you know, we do have Necrom. I mean, I do genuinely think, you know, and, you know, this isn't like more of a wish, but it's more of a prediction again. I would say that Necrom just ends up betraying his brother full on and joins like, you know, cause you've got ghosts trying to chat about, Oh, you know, who's meant to be your friend. You're not meant to control your friend. That's not real friendship, blah, blah, blah. So he's going to eventually get Takaru's message, friendship message. Friendship and they're just going to band magic. together as, I yeah, think it's it. going to be at the end when he does it, though. Like, he's going to die. No, before. I think it'll be sooner than the end, to be fair, because, again, I think they will... I don't know. I would prefer it to be sooner. I think you might have a point that they might leave it to the end, but if they do, that'll be rubbish. And, you know, that would just seem rushed. But I mean, in mind yeah, that look you at were... Gaim. Gaim's ending was abysmal. But don't yeah. forget that, what's it, you have to consider, A, we're going to get the Grateful uh, form, which consists of all 15 uh, forms, which also does tie in with that Alan does have the Sanzo and the uh, Greed uh, form as well. Grim. Grim, so Gr- Grim and yeah. Sanzo forms as well, which are part of those 15, if I'm not mistaken. So somehow, somehow, those two would need to sooner or later be in um, ta- uh, Takeru's uh, possession. So, so I hope the execution and the method... The thing. So if he's going to have all 15, he must, you know, they must all team up as a trio then. Either that or he just jacks it off him. I doubt he's going to... No, he's going to... I doubt it take them like that because that's not Takaru's style I know oh join us maybe be my team we'll have 15 do it for, on his behalf maybe yes. that would be feasible and that will be interesting if uh, what's suspected you know nicks it off him that will be interesting well no that would be normal that's what you'd probably expect hmm. I reckon no I reckon it will be Necrom tur- you know turning on his brother and joining the two but you then, know, Takaru okay. and Spectre, what is it, Makoto or whatever his name is. But do you think, um, uh, what's it, Alan's uh, elderly brother, Adele, would have... Um, yeah, would that's ha- his name, yeah. Yeah, would have a belt. Um, just, what, just, like... Just, just on what, the like theory. a gold drive, LOL. A what? Like oh, funny, yeah. Like, I don't care. Any, that like... gold uh, drive. Yeah, um, funny. Uh, possibly. Because, you know, you got that form, that silver rider form, that was originally for the Geki Chopper guy, and then he's given it to Eagle. Okay. So, you know, because he gave it to Eagle in episode 19. And so... I don't know, it... Would, yeah, I reckon if they were going to, you know, Toei being Toei, I reckon they'd probably just take that form, make it gold, hmm. and give it to Adele. That would be very typical. I don't know. Anyway, go for it, JC. Okay, so um, have you guys ever seen any um, Uchu Beji, um stuff like Gavan or Shariban or Shider? I've okay. I'll lead with this one, and just to keep it simple, the only time I've seen a uh, Gaban is with uh, when the original Gaban made a appearance. In in... You're going to say the one. You're going to say the Go Kaiju film, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And I loved it. Yeah. I actually loved that. That was actually really good. But that's pretty much it for me. 
Right. Well, oh, me personally. Oh, and then other than that, there was also that the n- new Gaban uh, featuring in Tokyo, was it? No, you're talking about the episode crossover with with Kikider. No, 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 no. That Gaim. that was with Gaim. That was no. with Gaim. No. Gaim and Kikida did a crossover. No, what was the? You're new... talking. It, it was Go Busters. That was it. Yeah. I saw that right. episode. Right. So me. Right. So I guess my very first. So I'm literally the same as Bushido with plus two more. So I saw Go Kaija versus Gavan. Mm-hmm. That was actually an amazing film. It was, it was really good. Was really I liked good. it. Mm. Uh, then there was the crossover with Go Busters, which was neither here nor there. Meh. And then adding on to what you haven't seen, they did the three-way Tyson film where it was Super Sentai, X Kamen Rider, X you know, Space Sheriff. Mm. Um, and that was, I don't know. I just kind of, yeah, I think the, what, cause the way the Kamen Rider, the way the Tyson films ended up, they all ended up being Kamen Rider Tyson, but even it almost when sounds it like was, a clusterfuck though. It was, there are but, it was, no, it was a clusterfuck, but it was so biased to Kamen Rider. I mean, cause when I think back, you know, the very first Tyson film was evenly was very well balanced. You then had Tyson Z, which was just yuck. Then you had I'm not sure was it the same film? I can't, I don't even know. But then you did you know there was like I do remember seeing uh, the one with the Metal Heroes in, and I'm just like yuck. And then there was the first Kamen Rider Tyson, which was like Showa versus Heisei. That was obviously all about that. The last Tyson film I thought was fairly good. And bear in mind, we're going to be getting another Tyson film in March. Or no, actually, we're getting the Ichigo film in March. But I think we are going to get another Tyson film as well as part of the superhero project year. Now, uh, coming back I to don't the question... I think they will, because again, they are planning a lot for this year. Mm. But coming back to your question, yeah, so there was that uh, film, there was the... And then there was basically the reboot film for... um, You know, it was for... It was basically a reboot film for Gavan, where he was passing the torch on. Mm. That's the only Toku film that I have stopped watching, like, before the finish. I, you know, it was less than halfway in. I was like, you know what? I am bored out of my head. This is absolutely goddamn awful. And I switched it off. Yeah, so that's the only film I've switched. Yeah, that's the only Toku film I've switched off. I mean, when I fell asleep during the Fires film, that was me falling asleep during the Fires film. Mm. But, this, you know, the Gavan reboot... I was like, I've had enough of this. Mm. And I turned it off. And I felt really bad for doing it because obviously it's a Toei, it's a Toku. <clears throat> but I was just like, I can't do this. Mm. I really can't do this. So I turned it off. Mm. Anyway, um, after you. Okay. Um, so, if you, like, since this is super sent, um, superhero year this year, what um Toei heroes would you like to see this year get rebooted or like get retooled? Explain that sentence. <laughs> retooled. No, no, hang on. Explain the that. Ichigo's retooled, did he? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. How do you mean? Do you mean like a reboot of one Sentai character? You could have any Sentai character, and you would have. You no, not a Sentai. Up way too much, man. I understood the question perfectly. Okay, Flavor I mean, Man, you go reckon, with it, just so I, I get... Reckon, I reckon they probably will do uh, Go Ranger, just for the sheer hell of it. Mm. Bearing in mind that the original uh, Kiro Ranger is actually it's deceased, dead. or Key Ranger, yeah. He's deceased, well, they so I don't the original know if they one. actually would. But, you know, I think, you know, for Superhero Project here, it would be, I mean, it'd be really good to see Cougar, but he's, you know, the actor behind Cougar's gone on record saying, 
oh, Carmen Rider's awful, I'll never do it again. That's why well, it's always I... been about Takeshi Hongo. And that's also why, you know, Cougar's very vague in, like, the homages. You know, it's bad, but what can you well, do? Well, the reason why uh, he but... won't come back is because um, the producer and him got along really well. And, like, they're the best of the friends. And he said he's not going to come back unless the original producer comes back. Oh, well. I mean, I mean you can't really say anything to that. I mean, yeah. Sentai wise. Um, can I, I leave this one? It'd be can really I leave this cliche. One? No, you can't. It, you. I'd say Sentai wise, it'd be really cliche if they did something like Go Kaija or Ten Boku. years after, yeah. I was gonna, no, I was going to say that. Right. But, but this is where I was going to say if they did a, a Go Kaija 10, 10 years. years would it? Well, no, no, no it it'll, be five, be, it'll be five years. I, but if they did it as a 10 years after, like, so five years' time. I wouldn't mind that, but it depends if they're going to do a V Cinema thing or an actual year of it, bringing back the similar cameos that we've already had, and actually seeing how far they've developed. If they do it as a an actual series, and I then we get the shit ton of cameos, I would love that. I mean, you know, I reckon it'd be pretty good if they actually did a Tyson film biased to Sentai as opposed to. The previous three, which have been biased towards Carmen Rider. Well, I heard that Super Sentai is actually getting their own um, um, film this summer. That's actually well, yeah, they book. get their own film every summer. But this one is going to be different, though, because it's going to be Super Sentai and not just like what Nin Ninja had in the last few Sentai had. Well, how do you mean? Because you look at you look at Gower, you look at Gower Ranger. Bokenja and Gokaija, they didn't have their crossover films with the previous Sentai. They had their crossover films with all the Sentai. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they you know, I could see that happening, but that wouldn't happen until right until the very end of the year. I mean, Gokaija, what they did they had their own film, which was Ghost Ship, and then they did the 199 Heroes sort of sometime before that, I think. Yeah, and when I it, think... When it came to their, you know, their regular time of releasing a crossover film, that's when they hit us with Gavin. Yeah, because Gavin had his third year anniversary that year. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So go on, Mr. Bushido. What's your wishes? What's your wish list? No, I already said it, so go screw yourself. Screw um, you! I'd like, anyway. I would like to um, see Inaliman get rebooted. Who? Which one? Inaliman. Your what a what? Inaliman. Inaliman. Apparently, there's uh, something called Inazuman, which honestly, I don't even fucking know. You know. Uh, I'll send you I don't, a message. It'd be, pretty, it'd be pretty badass if they actually did bring Ninja Captor in. Oh, oh yes. And they got the guy, um, Daisuke Bond. He played one of their f- two Rangers, actually, in um, <clears throat> Super Sentai. I just realized oh. what would be a good uh, crossover, actually. Um, and ironically, just for theme's sake, Ryu Kendo with Gokoujo, that would be hilarious. Well, really, happened yeah. to oh, actually, I actually, I, th- I don't know. That, that's quite a contrast. No, Keys, though. You're an idiot. Yeah. Um, I mean, but that's just like saying, oh, I don't know. That's like, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, you'll get there one one day. Anyway, JC, go. Okay, so anyway, like, like I've heard that they're actually planning to do what they Go Kaiju did and have one movie where they team up with all the Sentai and one movie with them by themselves. If you know what I mean. Yeah, that's yeah that that doesn't surprise me. I mean, I don't know the I don't know the details, but again, that. That's kind of standard protocol. Oh yeah, um, the reason why I said um, Key Rangers um, second actor could come back, like him say that he he was revived from the dead, like using the cyborg technology of um, 
What's it called? Black Cross Army. LOL. Yes, yeah, it's, it's weird. It's a weird, far out concept, but you know, nothing stays dead in Sentai. Well, what you gonna do? So. Yep. Anyway, um, are there any uh, people that you admire in the Tokusatsu community? How do you mean? As like, in, you know, in the industry or the fan base? Or the fan actors? Base. Wait, not the actual actors or actresses or anything. Um, well, like, let's do all three of those because those are good questions, I think. Right. Fan well, I'd actors. say I would say in the you know in the industry, I have a lot of respect for the musicians, especially Rider Chips and Psychic Lovers. Uh, you're an idiot. Yeah. Did you know I'm friends know. with some. But then people. again, it's like Psychic Lover, they are main, you know, they do it, they don't just do it for Taku, they do it for anime as well. Whereas, you know, like I liked Rider Chips, and the thing about, you know, there's a group called Carmen Rider Girls. Yeah, that and is like, just a joke. I love, no, I loved their first two albums, but the where they had a few members leave or graduate, as they call it in Japan where they had a few members graduate and then they brought in some new members, they then took the group in a different musical direction, which I really do not like. But, you know, I had a lot of love for like their first two albums. And then suddenly they decided to release a greatest hits, you know, whatever. Um, I mean, you know, I think every year, Whatever actors they bring into mainly Sentai, they put them under a lot of pressure. I mean, when you look at the guy who played, you know, the male Shinken Red, you know, he Uh, went on record saying that he starved for days, he barely ate, he was so tired. You know, I mean, because when it comes to, like, the American Power Rangers... You know, it went on record that the original five were paid like $500 a week for a grueling schedule. And, you know, I'm just like, you know, I understand they're on a budget, but, you know, they do make so much money. And it's just like, you know, I mean, especially in America where they're non-screen guild actors. And, you know, and even in recent, more recent years where they're from New Zealand anyway. It's just badly regulated. And when it comes to, obviously, the Japanese, you know, Toei, you know, uh, Super Sentai side, you know, hearing things like, oh, Shinken Red barely ate, it kind of makes my heart bleed. But I do have a lot of respect for the actors, even though I might say, oh, I don't like this character, or maybe this actor didn't act as good as they could have acted, blah, blah, blah. But I do appreciate that they have really grueling schedules. For me, I think in regards to singers and such, after watching the, now I've got to remember this, the Sentai versus uh, Rider concert, I've seen that, which um, that was actually... You're talking about Super Sentai Spirits? Not Spirits. Because that's actually a totally different concert itself. Because okay. they, no, no, it Spirit, no, no, Spirits was the one I watched was back in 20... 2006 and four. I yeah, that's did it. Super Sentai Spirits. And then they but did. But those are the ones that were only filmed. The young, um, the the Common Rider versus Super Sentai, they were filmed like each year. No, no, the no. What I'm trying to say is, is they did a special concert dedicated to Rider vs. Sentai because of Go Kaija. And mm-hmm. that um, they brought in all the, uh, well, uh, sorry, not all, a lot of the famous singers, such as the original uh, Ryuki singer who actually did the full opening to Ryuki um, double. You're talking about, are you talking about We Are Brothers? No. Oh. Basically, um, if I can find the link, I'll show you. But anyway, well, um, anyway, my point is uh, for singers and such, for those uh, songs I love, I love it. That I think they are 
a key to actually developing the actual episodes each week. So I think they have a little bit of pressure on that. In regards to actors and actresses, the only actor or actress I can think that actually has a lot of pressure that year would solely be, for me, would be Gokai Red. I think he had the biggest amount of pressure I have ever seen in years, and I think he nailed it to the T, seriously. Cause, I'd say he nailed it too. Yeah, because honestly, I think trying to... A, fit into those boots and trying to recapsulate, to try and commemorate, to try and... Um, because no, it's even... It. I disagree with you. I don't think he did any of that. He did his own thing and it was a spectacular. So he didn't... You don't think he even um, do it on anyone else's behalf? Um, no. But you think... But no, that's no, the no, funny but, thing. But you see where I'm coming read, from with the pressure. One though, thing because... I read in the last year is there was a different actor originally poised for Captain Marvel, and then he dropped out. Wasn't that Basco? No, no, it wasn't. It was someone who you know ended up having nothing to do with uh, Super Sentai. I think I read that. I mean, it was no, wait, like, okay. I'm trying to think, because it was someone I'm trying to go remember Kai now. Red, was actually supposed to give me a bear on playing him. <sighs> I th- I'm trying to think if that was what I read. Um, I think it was. Um, go Kai Red I think my, my, my mind's going into meltdown right now. I just remember reading something that, again, the actor who ended up playing go Kai Red was, you know, someone else, you know, being the guy it was. Hmm. Well, well uh, what's the flavor man has a melt then? Uh, do you wish to continue, Josie? Um, so, yeah. Um, what, like, who's your favorite person in the fan base? Like, Evie Rider, The Shades, Zeltrax Millennium, for example? This Go on, I'll give, you wh- I'll give you one guess as to who I'm going to say. Dukemon22! You bastard, yeah. <laughs> no, um, at the end of the day, I, you know, and I've said this on the show enough times that you, how Duke Mon 22 is actually the opposite. I believe he does a disservice, or well, assuming it's a guy. He, she, Duke Mon 22 does a massive disservice to the fan base. But on the other hand, you know, to actually, you know, you know, keep this positive, there's one guy called Gyatron. And I have mentioned him on the show a couple of times, but obviously where he's not a joke, like I'll make a joke out of Duke Mon 22. I have mentioned Gyatron a couple of times in my sh- in the show. And, you know, he does a good service to the fan base. And one note, and I've got to give massive props. I've spoken to the guy a couple of times. His name's Takanoko, and he's the guy behind TV Nihon. I've talked to him as well. He's cool. Absolutely. You know, I mean, what he does for the fan base, second to none. Yeah, and like to him to be so patient with everybody asking, when's this going to be out? When's this going to be out? Oh in? my God. If you're on the Facebook group, he just mocks the hell out of it all the time. And Wait, like, I don't, know if he, I, don't know if, I don't know if he picks up on this, but when he does put things like that up, I'll be like, oh, when, you know, like, I remember, you know, I'll be like, oh, when are you going to sub next year, Sentai? I'll just totally rip it out of him. (laughs) Uh, For me, fan service, I don't really, I mean, besides, I don't know whether you want me to praise your uh, TV, sorry, Tokusatsu News Network, nice one, Um, but... Otherwise, I don't really, I'll be honest, other than TV Nihon, I don't really, and also J-Fusion, those are really the two main ones I kind of follow. Well, um, when it came to J- when it comes to J-Fusion, there was, I think he was one of the founders, and I know everyone pays yes. props to him, a guy called yes. Geki Dan. Yeah, he passed away, and he was actually the one who helped me create TNN. Sure. It's... If it wasn't for him, TNN would have never came to be. Sure, man. I mean, because, you know, I, you know, I mean, because obviously reading J.E. Fusion myself, 
I would see Geki Dan's posts, and I'd, I mean, I would try write to him, but I don't know. My Google account wouldn't let me for some odd reason, but um, I could to... see the contribution. I could see sort of the you know sort of the effect his death had, and you know, I'm just kind of like you know, I you know, I believe that when uh, he did pass, and like the t- you know the JE Fusion team had to carry the beacon of JE Fusion. They did struggle for a while and they were getting a lot of hatred for it. They're like, oh, it's not the same, it's not the same. But I do believe in, say, the last six months, it they have done a good job and it's doing okay. Mm-hmm. But at the same like, time, they will still always pay props to Geki Dan. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was going to suggest, JC, do you want to uh, enjoy this part where you can literally uh, go all... Uh, American Power Rangers at uh, Flavor Man because I'm sure he'd love that. Okay. What? You What's your are favorite such Power Rangers a hypocrite, show? man, because you're always like, oh, Power Rangers movie, Power Rangers movie. And then when I want to talk about Dino Charge, you kind of shut down. No, not just shut down. Look at my phone, play all my games, yeah, cough the fuck yeah. out. Your point? Rude boy. Dino so Charge rude. is awesome. Say that again. Dino Charge, aka Dino Charge, is how I say it. It's probably one of the best shows that we have in a long time. Right, I will say, bearing in mind, I barely watched Samurai up to Super Mega Force. Well, actually, I only watched one episode of Samurai, to be fair. But you know, I was very underwhelmed by the first episode, by the opening episode of Samurai. Shut up, man. Um. But, you know, I really, 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 really liked RPM. And Same then here, Dino man. Charge, like, huh? What? I said I really liked Power Rangers RPM. And then, like, I mean, the thing is, with Dino Charge, I like it. It's all right, but I do think it's, uh, what's the word? Snooze. You know, it's overhyped. No, it's overhyped a fair bit. But I think, bearing in mind the fan base feel that they've had four years of absolute crap, I think it's, you know, fair enough. And then Supercharge, I'm going to watch episode three and I'm going to watch episodes three and four tomorrow. Why? And then review it for our show. Oh, and no. I'm just like. Dreading, you know, I'm just like, really, you know, you're literally milking the fan base now, you know. I just don't see the point in Supercharge. I mean, I've already read the synopsis for Ninja Steel, that looks pretty good. Uh, yet, you know, I'll say that, you know, prior to RPM, that was, you know, it's almost like, you know, the PR franchise, they will do like four rubbish seasons followed by a good season. Now, the ironic thing about Ninja Steel is you look at Duoja, how they're playing the blood game, and they're literally doing the same thing for Ninja Steel. But ironically, I read about Ninja Steel before reading about the Death Galleon. Mm. The Death Galleon? Like, they're actually kind of menacing, finally. Like, you say finally. First... I thought the Tokuja villains were quite menacing. But Zed was really deep. Mm. I, I thought Zed was really dark. I loved his sort of that kind of eerie though. Totally, I agree. Okay, so I got a like. I was wondering, do you have anything you want to ask me a bit? Um. Okay, uh, I don't know because it was us. All right, I mean, if we're gonna ask you a question, I'll yeah. say, well, All right, just yeah, you know, rather than giving a list, just your one favorite Toku show of all time. Um, put him on the spot on that one. Dang, lols. Dang. Okay, could it be a, a um, a toy show and then I could do one that's not a toy show? All right, I'll give. All right, one Toei, one non Toei. Go on. Okay, my favorite Toei show is probably gonna be um Ina. Uh, no, not Ina. The man Kikaider, because 
it was a great show in the 70s, and it actually had a story in not some random episodes like Go Rangers and whatnot. It actually um followed a very long lasting sh- like story, so. And they did not forget about anything. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, if you could uh, make a new gimmick theme or whatever for Rider Sentai, whatever, an original theme, what would it be? Maybe space or bugs, maybe. Original. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you... Okay. Well, I would like to see a cowboy theme do, done. Or a uh, western. <laughs> a western oh, theme. Star Ninja. No comment. Literally no comment to that. No, but like not like Star Ninja. I mean like full blast western with them actually do like each battle is called a duel. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, because, I mean, you've got to bear in mind that this is, you know, it's not like Power Rangers where they mix up the ethnicity. Super Sentai is all Nihonjin, you know. Well, apart from, you know, if you're going to mention Shinken Brown, you can just get GTFO, you know. But <laughs> I will say, you know, with it being a Nihonjin series, you can't, you know, it'd be wolf. It's yeah, that would be a very risky move. But the themes you're saying, like dueling and stuff, that would be quite epic. It's unique. It'll be unique nonetheless. I'm not going to deny that. Trust um, the guy from Texas to come up with such an idea. No comment. Hey, we. I'm not from the um, area where you think the cowboys are from. I'm more one of those eastern guys who like who doesn't really care about the farm. No comment. Look, yeah, if you're from Texas, you're going to have steakhouses on every street, right? Oh! <laughs> you can shut up, kangaroo boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, now you see how much we love each other on this one. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun, I gotta admit. Like, a lot better than the last podcast I was a part of. Okay, who was the? Um, Toku Podcast, dude, they screwed me over, very rude people, wouldn't let me talk or anything, so... Fair enough. But... It's alright, I just let this guy gabber on as much as he likes, and then I sort of give him a signal to let him know he's talking too much, lol. Also known as, uh, just going on my phone. <laughs> Ugh, lol. Uh, but otherwise, um, uh, what's it, for... From JC's angle, do you have any other cues or ways or whatever in regards to more, uh, how can I say, either within Toku related or outside of Toku related or such or so on and so forth? Like any toys? That sounded <laughs> so bad. Oh, it did. It did. Um, right. Well, when I was in Japan in 2009, I just went absolutely mad in Akihabara. And I just bought loads of Carbon Rider stuff. I bought loads of Super Sentai stuff. I mean, I was out there during decade year. I just went absolutely batshit crazy in Akihabara. Oh. And most of, you know, most of, you know, most of my Toei stuff has, you know, was in that year. And then I did import a couple of bits and bobs. Uh, like I imported, like, cause I did a cosplay of Geki Violet, Go for Kami, you know, so I've got that outfit and, uh, let's see, but then everything else is all like Power Rangers stuff from back in the nineties. I only have, uh, what's it called? And to this day, I still only have a, um, what's that brand called? Um, not Figma. Um, SH Figure Arts. Thank you. SH Figure Arts come and ride the double default form. And the only reason I got that one is because um, I love, I love how that outfit looks. I merely got it just for the outfit looks for that one. I also have a Gokai Red, and a I have the. Um, uh, 
two pack exclusive uh i don't know if you call it two pack but the deluxe exclusive Two-pack. whatever uh the uh common rider ryuki and drag lector um combo set exclusive and that is actually really amazing that set um otherwise if i were to purchase any mechs uh, uh just for the sheer hilarity shits and giggles i would either get uh, the whole bokenja mech line or and i mean literally just for sheer shits and giggles and if i, I was dead on a drunk dare I'd probably get the uh, go on just. I know what you'd do. You'd play with that massive ship in your bathtub, wouldn't you? But it wouldn't flow. Yeah. You never Hello? know, it might do. But it won't flow. It might do. No, uh, no, guys. we should buy it. But anyway, I was going to say I'd just get the uh, go on just so, really. If I was on it, you know, if someone dropped it. Go on, dead. what are you on? Meth? What? What? Did you just say go on, Joe? Well, just because of the clusterfucker. GTFO, man. GTFO. <laughs> but anyways. Um, <sighs> so, any others on your end, JC? Um, so... Okay. Like... Uh, okay, have you guys ever done any crossovers with people in your show, or... Is this your first no. time doing one? Yeah, this is first. Yep, this is our first. And, okay. And we are grateful, nonetheless. No. And hopefully this is a door to others being interested in doing crossovers, as well, or collabs, as I like to call it. Okay. Yeah, um, also, um, if you guys were to make a Toku show that's rant, like, that's not Sentai Rider. What would you do and what would it be called? Well, ironically, I did start writing a Taku, and that was during my year in, well, you know, when I was on holiday in Japan back in 2009. Uh, I just remember I was out there with my Japanese friend, and I was like, you know, I was just walking around Japan, and I was like, oh my god, there's a guy over there. I could make a Taku show based on him. And he's just like, you are insane. And then when we went to the Bandai Museum, it was like, oh my God, I could write a Taku based on a security company. And I just ended up really running with this idea. And you know, so I did have that in mind. And I would have loved to have made that like a real high budget show. But obviously, you know, a guy can dream, but that's literally, I leave it there. Personally, I just have what's it, a very mercenary esque kind of um, almost uh, Metal Gear Solid, but more um, how can I say mercenary style? Um, in that it's like sort of espionage style, not like your stereotypical going gun ho blazing kind of thing. More the technique of uh, going past securities and whatever and just espionage really and it'll be it'll make it more interesting it'll add a new dimension to the whole to- Toei Toku franchise really mm. in my opinion okay so I got a question have you guys seen any Godzilla films or um Gamera <laughs> okay now this is where I'm gonna <laughs> ask you a question while uh right are we talking the original Japanese style Godzilla? Oh, or... you keep overcomplicating his questions, man. Damn. Or I will we... answer first. Basically, I have only seen the Godzilla film that had Matthew Borderick in, in, I think it was the oh, year 2000. Oh, how dare you! Oh, my ears! Just hearing that, oh, my ears! I feared you this was going to happen. I haven't seen the Godzilla reboot yet, but I do oh plan to watch. Oh, my goodness <laughs> me. You have not seen the Gareth Edwards Godzilla. You have not lived, Flavor Man. Well, I have seen <laughs> Pacific Rim, so, you know, I think that counteracts that. That's a little yeah. redeeming, but still, you got to go see it. Agreed. <laughs> um... Now, in regards to original uh, Godzilla's, the only one I have unfortunately seen is Godzilla vs. Mothra. And I've also seen Godzilla vs. Um, now I've got to get this one right. 
the very famous one is Godzilla vs. King Kong, but I've, again, I've not seen any of the 60s Godzillas. No, I've seen... Or 50s, uh, no, or well, there is the... Now, I've got to get this right. I think, isn't it, late 80s, early 90s, they did a Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla you, with um, Mecha Godzilla, oh, innit? Oh, shut up. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. No, 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 sorry. It wasn't... Um, oh, no, it's uh, Mogara, not uh, Mecha Godzilla. It's a Mogara. And I actually enjoyed that. It was actually fairly good. Um, uh, yeah, that was that was interesting. But the, uh, like you mentioned, they did do uh, Godzilla versus King Kong. They have done just Godzilla. They've done Godzilla versus King Ghidorah, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Wasn't there like Godzilla versus not Aquaman, but a Gamera? Sort of... Gamera. Ah, uh, whatever. No, it that is Gamera. Comic yeah, Gamera, the space turtle. Effectively, mm-hmm. well, yeah. oh no! Well, they've got Torfin anyway. Camera. Yeah. So um, anyway, so okay, I'm kind of Uh-oh. running out of questions now. What? That's up to uh, you. You know, the show doesn't have to go on forever, man. It's up to you. It's up to you. If you want to ask us anything at all, go for it. If not, you're welcome to wrap it up, though. Yeah. Okay, um, well, could I explain um, what I usually do, like, what I am known for to you guys and whatnot, so that you could get a taste of me? Go for it. Get a taste okay. of me. Okay. So, anyway, yeah. I am known as Dragon Zeron, and um, you probably already know that, but um, did I tell you guys that I do cover the Japanese theme songs and whatnot? I think I've mentioned that to Flavor Man, yes. You did mention it to me, but I've not heard. You want me to send you a few links, maybe? Um, well, I'm not really on the internet uh, right uh, now. I'll, I'll, I'll send Flavor Man some links. Because yeah, I've, still got the one, I've still got the one you've sent me anyways. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think it's about time I wrap it up, so... Go for it. I want to thank you guys for being, like, like so kind enough to let me interview you guys. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for the uh, invitation, yeah. anyways. So. You're welcome, you're welcome. I hope um we could do a few reviews maybe in the future. Mm, no, well, I look forward to that, no. of course. <laughs> But um, no, what I was going to say was, uh, in our traditional standards, that, uh, yep, not only has this been a fantastic interview, and we do look forward to another interview or crossover or collab, whatever the hell you want to call it, but at the same time, uh, this has been Mars Veda Bushido. He's been my takeover from the other side of the world. That being Fiverr Man! Yeah, I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> Are you going to do fist through the speakers? Well, that's the thing. I didn't know what to do on that one because we're not You're technically on camera. No. See, I already thought of that, but. No, well, you, 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 you really want to say fist through the speakers, then in which case I'll just say fist through the speakers! Fist through the speakers. <laughs> Moron. Anywho, how do you want to end it then, Josie? Because I've just completely fucked that up. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys. To the dragon thing I'm saying, I am And this has been the Toku Bros. Okay, yeah.